Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. Now in this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy of the person that you're dealing with. I'm going to be focused on the past and the present energies that are showing up for your situation. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. Okay, so what I'm seeing in this situation is an indication of a lot of mistakes that were made in the past. Now, this could be the individual that you're dealing with that was making these mistakes. I'm sensing here that there's an energy which created a very massive sort of change. It could be that... The two of you met one another and fell in love and, you know, things were going great one moment and then the next moment everything, you know, wasn't going the way that the two of you had wanted. Now, from the eyes of the individual that you're dealing with, I'm picking up the energy of this person seeing things, you know, shift in a blink of an eye. You know, it all changed and nothing was the same. There's an energy of feeling very abandoned, very isolated, very alone. It almost feels like one individual took a risk, took a gamble, and it didn't pay off. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a person that may have assumed, you know, that things were going to go a certain way or that the situation with you was going to be everlasting and that nothing could change the dynamic between the two of you. But there might have been certain things that were occurring between both you and this individual that were causing, you know, these changes to come about. I feel like there's a slight sense of not wanting to admit what happened in the situation. Because I'm also picking up this energy of, you know, clouded judgments, having a difficulty in really facing what went down between the two of you. The combination of cards is pointing in the direction of a mistake that was made. It could have been very foolish in nature. It could have been very reckless. It could be that one individual thought that they could uh, do whatever they pleased. But now I feel like, you know, this is a past energy. It was uh, dealing with things that have already happened. I feel like it left both you and this individual in a place where either the two of you were not talking to each other or there were a lot of things that were being kept from one another, a lot of secrets. It feels as if there was a shame or a guilt in admitting the mistakes that were made. So whoever was making those mistakes or, you know, deliberately sabotaging this connection, it's a very heavy burden of guilt to carry on their back. So that is what is showing up for the past energies. Let's have a look and see the present energies.
Someone may have underestimated your importance in their life. They may have neglected their responsibility to you or this connection. This person that you're dealing with, they may have, you know, been either very ignorant or they might have been, you know, acting as if they could do whatever they pleased. I do feel like there were times where there were a great deal of uh, absence of communication because this talks about suffering. Now, the present energies are highlighting, you know, new cycles, old cycles. There's also an energy of struggling to keep up with the changes that are happening. There's an element here of uh, things changing in a very big sort of way. There's something about the combination of these energies which are indicating that the changes that have occurred, the shifts that have occurred, may have, uh, you know, left the two of you out of reach to one another, right? So I'm picking up that there might have been a foolish mistake that was made and there might have been the assumption that those type of mistakes could have been made. I feel like now that things have shifted and changed so much, it might be that... The two of you may have a harder time getting in touch or uh, communicating with each other just because of how things have landed in the situation. So let's have a look and see what's going on with their mind, heart and soul energy. Okay, so on a mental level, it feels as if this individual is not really engaging with their thoughts. It feels as if they are, you know, being very passive. There's an energy of uh, this individual not wanting to expose too much. So there could be something that is going on in the back of their mind. Now, when it comes to their heart, I feel like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors type of energy. This individual is questioning, you know, what are they really feeling in this situation? But I also feel like there's an energy of where it's difficult to confront their own emotions. There's some sort of conflict that is playing out in this individual's life right now. I'm picking up this energy of where it feels like this individual is coming up against some form of opposition. It could be external in nature.
There's something about this individual that was unable to take things to the next level when it comes to this relationship. They couldn't turn this connection into, you know, a proper solid connection. This person could be the type that thinks they're very intelligent as well. That's why they might have been doing some of the things that they were doing in the past. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual, as well as paying attention to their heart and their soul energy, because I'm picking up some sort of opposition or some sort of explosive energy. But uh, I'll have to look into that more closely to see what it could mean. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.